What's up, guys? We're back here in another video. Uh, we have our Steam Deck here. This is the original one, the same as before. Uh, we lost our decals because uh, a certain test kind of ripped them off with the duct tape that I used. So I had to peel them off, but it gives me a chance to go ahead and show you guys how to do that. And we'll do that in a separate video. But today we're going to deal with our new Steam Deck backplate. So this one's going to be the passive cooling one. I say passive, but basically it's just an extra amount of ventilation. We have some, oh, this thing is, oh, we made some white ones of this. Show that to you real quick. To say they were a failure, um, no, they work just great, except you'll notice one big key difference between, ooh, there goes my dogs. Okay, so we got all of the support material taken off, uh, but yeah, so, other than them being different colors, you'll notice that the vent is larger on this one. Um, I wanted to keep this bad boy uh, white, but as you can see, there's just a bunch of inconsistencies with printing with white, especially if you want it to be super clean. It's just hard. Plus, this grating right here doesn't look good in general, so it looks better in black versus that. But ultimately, they're pretty much the same. This opening is just larger. That's it. And that's all for the, for the dock. Here's the dock still on the plate. All right. So this bad boy is the second version. Um, the first version came, printed out beautifully, but we had some issues, issues with um, the fitment. So the steam deck wasn't sitting well in the dock. So the fan wouldn't blow air properly. And I'll show that to you with our first version. This one right here is the first version. Um, you notice that there's not too much different. Uh, the main th thing is the Steam Deck was sitting way too high. So we had to actually prop it up. Prop it up so that this ventilation fan would actually blow into this back port right here. So imagine this is in the back of the Steam Deck. It sits right here. Boom. And it blows air in. We could technically make this vent bigger, but I thought that looked cool. Uh, and I, I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference. Um, because remember in our testing, the the fact that they had active cooling or a, a, an active intake fan didn't really matter. So we made a couple changes. We made this gap bigger only because we didn't really need this gap um, there for structure purposes. Because we have four legs total. Two here, two here. This one only had two on each side, which worked fine, which worked great. Um, the only issue with that was we had some issues with fitment. So I said, I'm not going to mess around with that anymore. Let's just take a chunk out and that's not going to be a problem. Yes, straight up aesthetically, it doesn't look as good as it would be like this. But, you know, form over function um, or function over form in this case. And also this has more material and this has less. So we technically save on uh, plastic as well. So PLA. So we're just going to use our blowtorch real quick just to get these stringies out. You can use the blowtorch. You just got to be quick with it. And don't hit the same spot too often because you will melt the shit out of it. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is open up the Steam Deck and get this... Backplate installed. Just a little bit different this time we're just gonna tape this down flip it around and we're gonna glue from the inside best we can just
right guys let's work we're in we're in here we're getting into the download you saw me assemble it you saw me build it now let's talk about some numbers so the steam deck has been running for quite some time now it's not docked it's actually only held up by this dongle and we're at 72 and 73 on the cpu at a fan speed of 3800 72 73 we're gonna write that down 72, 73, at fan speed of 3,800 RPMs. It is 17.5 degrees centigrade in this room right now. So it is pretty chilly. All right, so right now, comparatively, the difference between now and a stock Steam Deck, but we also have to remember we did do the thermal pad mod to our steam deck so they are both have those thermal pads so your testing will vary if you do this test stock steam deck at a room temperature 18.8 delta of one well it's warmer by one degree when you did that test 7980 right at 5100 rpms on the fan 72 so that's a minus of six and a minus of six. So a minus of six across the board with a fan speed drop of a whopping 1300 RPMs. Obviously it was a degree warmer in that room than it is now, but still 1300 RPMs is re freaking ridiculous. Ridiculous. So now, we're gonna dock this bad boy. We're gonna turn the fan on at 100%. Um, first of all, I'm gonna place this on the dock and I'm gonna show you me turning it on as soon as I can get it to sit properly. Bing, bada, boom. So fan is off currently. We are docked. Pretty decent seal there. It's not the most perfect seal in the world, but I've noticed it, uh, it, it really doesn't matter with this thing. So we're gonna turn the fan on we're gonna crank it to 100%. Hear that? That is the fan going at 100%. Sorry, not very elegant. I wish I had two cameras. Which kind of brings me on to my next topic. All right. So while we wait for the dock to cool this bad boy down, you could probably tell that your boy has some swag on. Yes, we have merch. We have merch now, and the merch is here to help grow this channel because I know you like the content. I love making the content, and I really want to do my best to make as much and the highest quality content I can physically do. But as you can tell, this is a toll of my time and a toll on my wallet. <laughs> so every little bit helps. So I thought, you know, I don't want to do a Patreon thing. I think that's, I don't like the thought of, I feel like that's kind of like begging in a weird way. It's not, it really isn't. It's not, but I'm weird in my head. Um, I never liked handouts. So I'm going to make t-shirts, right? I made this t-shirt. I didn't actually knit the shirt, but I bought this t-shirt and I printed on it and made a logo, I made a design, and now I wanna make it available to you, my dear, dear viewers, uh, for a low, low price of $19.99. And that's from sizes from small to double XL. And I promise you, you're gonna get the highest quality sh shirt that any YouTuber out there has put out. I know there's YouTubers selling their shirts for a lot more than mine. And you're saying, if it's such high quality, why are you selling it for such low price? Because I'm making it, guys. I'm literally making this shirt. I will, my shirt stacks over there. I weed out my vinyl here. And then my heat press is actually here, but I moved it over to the side. And I press it myself. I make these shirts. So every shirt you buy is going to be made with these hands. Brawly and my Tibetan skull are going to make your shirt. So, you know, a little bit part of me is going in that package and I'm not just freaking, um, you know, off loading it to some Chinese company who's going to then mail it to you. Um, I, and I, I, I really mean it. It's going to be the highest quality shirt because I picked the shirts myself. I'm wearing the shirt right now. I only wear this T-shirt 
It's called Next Level. It's a 64 in cotton blend. Super soft, super durable. Will not fade out within 20 washes. Please don't use bleach on blacks. Uh, wash with white colors. Wash with cold water. Don't wash with hot. And don't warm, uh, don't dry your clothes on high heat. It should always be on low. I don't care if it's white. I don't care if it's black. Don't care if it's a hoodie or jeans. Should always be on low. Never mess with mediums, only with towels, actually. So that's a top tip from yours truly. Everything should always be on low. But with it on low, I've had these shirts last for more than 20, 50 washes. Um, and I, I highly recommend them. I When people order shirts from me, whether it's something I've created, my design, or something they want for themselves, let's say like a team jersey or a family get together, I only push the next level shirts because... It is more expensive, but you get what you pay for. It lasts longer, it's softer, it's comfortable, and all of you, my dearest dear viewers, can have this shirt for that price of $19.99 and with shipping of $1.99 anywhere in the United States. Unfortunately, we're not shipping overseas, but I'm gonna add one more caveat to that. We're only gonna have 100 of the black and gold because that's it, that's all I'm gonna make is 100. And how you know that is because every shirt is gonna be labeled. Mine is zero of 100. Meaning the next person that buy, or the first person to buy the shirt gets number one. And then everyone after that person will get that corresponding number until we hit 100. And that is my shameless plug. If you care about this channel and you want to see this channel grow and you want to see us do better and create more, you can give us a big helping hand by just hitting that sub, hitting that like, sharing with friends. And if you really want to help us out, buy a t-shirt. It's made by your boy, your boy Truly, and I promise you, you're going to love this shirt. But other than that, let's check out our temperatures. And we're doing pretty damn good, y'all. Doing pretty damn good. So. Enough talk. I'm going to hit the time lapse. I'm going to let this uh, run for, whoa, whoever's outside bumping their music. It's pretty freaking loud. We're going to let this run for another five minutes. All right, y'all. So we've been running for an additional five to six minutes there. And um, we're doing pretty good on temperatures. Uh, we're doing um, 68 and 69 on the CPU, which is 68, 69. It's pretty good. Um, and 34, 3,500. All right. Okay, so that's a delta from when it was not dock. That is a delta of four, so minus four without dock on both the GPU and the CPU, and minus 300 RPMs on the fan from dock and not dock. Stock versus docked with the mod that's a delta of 10 across both the CPU and GPU with a whopping, whopping 1600 RPM difference. Shit's crazy. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drop the fan to 50%. All right, sorry, that was a lot longer than I expected. That was almost um, over, that was over 10 minutes. And our numbers are 70, 3,800 RPMs, which was the same RPMs on a fan that we had uh, no dock. And our temperatures are 70, 70, 70, 71, 70, 71, 70 and 71, same room temperature. Okay, 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 68, 69. All right, so we did go up into temp. So we're two degrees colder than without the dock on both the GPU and CPU, and we're the same fan speed, all right? So, but we did go up by two degrees without the dock on high. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the dock on low and do another time lapse and see if we can get away with the lowest setting on this fan and see if we can get at least better performance than we did without the dock. Remember, 
This fan is a 4,500 RPM fan. Its lowest speed is rated for 300 RPM, so it's pretty damn low. We'll see if we get any uh, beneficial uh, results. It's completely unaudible. You can only hear the stock fan. And remember, overall temperature on your Steam Deck is only gonna allow your Steam Deck to last a little bit longer. How much longer? I don't know. I just know cooler running computer components last longer. So this has two benefits, quieter, cooler, longevity in device. But if your Steam Deck is running at 80 degrees with a fan speed of 6,000 RPMs, that too is completely safe. It is within specs. Um, but if you can handle that fan speed and that hot, that heat, then more power to you. But I'm just saying you don't need to mod your Steam Deck. That's what I mean to say. So we're going to let this run for uh, probably up less than 10 minutes. It's already going up in temps a little bit. I think we just saw 72 on the CPU. And if we see the same thing, clearly 300, 300 RPMs on a fan, intake fan, is not nearly enough to cool it down we can make this mod better if you listen if you watched our last video we put heat sinks in the back of our modded back plate which was the big one with its own intake fan and own battery unit and it we had stupidly good results we had our the best results we've seen to date i am actually gonna mod my steam deck when i'm done with these mods and I feel like I'm done with them. I am gonna put heat sinks on my on my Steam Deck. They just run so much better, so much cooler. But uh, the reason why we're doing this with just the thermal pad mod, and obviously the backplate mod, because this is the easiest ones to do, easiest easiest ones to do. And while we wait for this one to cool down, I mean heat up, because it's gonna heat up. I just want to really talk about. The numbers on our very first mod. So the very first mod we did, if you didn't see the video, in the back of your Steam Deck, we cut a hole in it. And it was right where the fan is. And what we did there is we negated a lot of the negative pressure inside the system. So air could travel right into the fan and air could float in, in and around the fan, which would allow a lot more air force and cooler air to blow over the fin stacks. At the same time, we added thermal pads, same thermal pads that we have in our Steam Deck now, to make sure we had an even disperse of, of heat soaked with all the hotter running components because we essentially negated the original intake fan in the Steam Deck. And those temperatures on that very first mod, the room temperature was 18.5. All right, so it was a degree warmer the difference between that mod and the mod we have today is no difference. All right, so here are the temps. It was 18.5 degrees that day, 73, 74, 3,800 RPMs, okay? The original mod that we did. This mod with the updated back plate, more space for air, um, Better, essentially better-ish ventilation. We're at a room of 17.5. So we're gonna go up a degree to equalize both rooms. We're going up a degree, right? It's exact same, 73.74. Technically it's 72.74, but today the room is a degree colder. So we go, we go, have to turn up to equal, make them equal, we gotta go up a degree because we're cooler today and it was hotter you understand hopefully you do so we had the exact same results so all i mean to say we went full circle a month's work of me doing all these tests doing this doing that trying that and we got the exact same results as we did on our very first test is this test more stream like does this one look a lot better yes and no is this one great because we can add an intake fan? Absolutely. Because with that intake fan, we increased the delta by, by um, four degrees. All right, so we're four degrees cooler 
with the dock with a lesser fan speed of 300 RPM. So this mod that we're talking about today, the compromise mod is only good because we have the ability to dock it, which will give us better temps overall. Okay, so better temps will equal better frames depending on the game. This game's not a very good game to do better frames on because this game is super taxing. Overall, pretty much the same. So the big takeaway before we look over the screen and take our final numbers for the fan at zero RPM is that the best mod you can do for your Steam Deck is our original Steam Deck mod with the thermal pads. If you wish to get more performance, you will do our compromise mod, which is the one here, because we can you can dock it with an intake fan, which will give you a minus four degrees better overall system temperature at max RPMs with a 4,500 RPM fan. We are gonna test this in a later video um, with a 6,000 RPM, I think it's 5,000 5, RPM, 40 by 40 by 20 millimeter Noctua fan and go full bore and see if that makes any any real difference. I doubt it, uh, maybe a degree or two, but hey, it's already coming in the mail, so we gotta test it. Why the hell not? Last video, you know, like we talked about this JSOX fan and all that stuff. We can't take that out of the equation yet because we don't, I don't, I haven't had it in hand to test it. I know what's going to happen. We're probably going to get close to the same results. What the, our current mod, this is what I'm guessing. This is all a hypothesis, but we're going to deal with a lot more noise. So I'm going to cut the video right now. I'm going to take some DB me measurements. It's raining outside, so I might mess it up. And I'm going to come back to you, and then we're going to close out this video. What is up, guys? Sorry I lost my footage for whatever reason of me doing the low temperatures. And real quick, we see in the very, very bottom of this picture, we have a room temp of 18. Remember, we equalized the room temp because my app would not allow me to do decimal points for whatever reason so 18s across the board which is going to be fine because it kind of levels everything out anyways because they were off by one was 17 and a half the other was 18 and a half but back to the topic low dock was 18 room temp 71 72 with 38 so we did gain one degree in temperature, but we were still one degree lower than undocked. Uh, fan speed is the exact same, but overall we are still a hell of a lot cooler than uh, docked, I mean, excuse me, stocked by eight degrees and a huge, huge, huge fan speed drop of 1300 RPMs. So all the testing is done. Uh, with the DB and so with um, docked, um, dock on low, dock on medium, audio is exact same. It's going to be around 36 decibels right up in front. So if you're standing right, your nose is right here, 36 decibel, foot and a half away is 25, foot and a half away is 25. That's just a room noise. So docked, no dock, medium, all the same DB. When we go into the high speed, we go 38, 28, 26. So 38 right up to the monitor or to Steam Deck. Then a uh, foot and a half away is 28, which would be your normal playing distance. And then uh, 26, uh, about three feet away. So if you were docked and watching on this monitor, for example, the camera is exactly three feet away from the monitor or roughly three feet away. So yeah, DB. You're better off just going medium. So if you're gonna get, if you are gonna get this mod and you're gonna do this mod for your your best bang for your buck, um, temperature and noise wise is medium settings on the fan docked. Uh, medium settings on the fan docked, you're gonna get uh, 70, 71 with a RPM of 3,800. So really good really good temps with really low fan speeds definitely going to be able to play the steam deck without headphones according to my data 
If you normally do not play your Steam Deck dock mode, normally don't. I rare, I never really played dock. Only reason my Steam Deck docked is for this video. I never play my Steam Deck docked. You should not do this particular mod because it's too much faff, it's extra money. All you need to do is our very first mod, which is less than $14. And it would be cheaper if you can get good thermal pads for cheaper. I mean, you know, less because they give you so much. They give you like a square that's like, I think it's like 80 by 60 or something. And you'll only need maybe a quarter of that, maybe less than that. So you don't even need the whole thing. So you'll have extra thermal pads. But you do the thermal pad mod, you cut a hole near the, near the fan, or better yet, you buy the back plate that they sell on AliExpress, the one with all the ventilation inside. You throw some thermal pads in there, boom, you're set. You already got them. You're, you're good for a delta of at least minus six, if not more, with a very, very low fan speed, all right? I, I can't, that land, fan speed is everything in my book. You don't want a super, super duper loud fan. I'm probably gonna cut that out. I don't wanna be swearing too much, but yeah, that's the mod you wanna do. But if you do play docked, definitely this is a good mod. You know, like you can drop minus four on all all temps. You can drop the, the, the fan speed down quite a bit. Um, overall, your system's gonna run cooler. This is a great thing to do if you, if you run docked. On top of everything I said, if you've watched our last video where we placed heat sinks on all the little hot running chiplets inside there and removed the, the aluminum heat shield, you will get ridiculous results. You'll get in the low 60s. You'll get in the low 60 results with that mod. If you couple it with everything else we did, especially with the dock with a fan, you're gonna get ridiculous temperatures. If you don't have a dock with a fan, you're probably gonna only get maybe a degree or two less. Um, Meaning if you just cut the fent hole and then throw the heat sinks there, you probably get a, d a degree or two less than you would. But if you do have a fan though, with that mode, boy, you're gonna get some good temps. You're gonna be really, really happy. Your Steam Deck's gonna be happy. It's gonna be run cooler. It's gonna run quieter. Overall, that's probably the best mod you could do. But in closing, I have heard some stuff about adding extra heat pipes or adding a metal plate with a M.2 uh, thermal uh, heat sink. All those are great. But you gotta remember, you're adding more than you need. The testing numbers don't lie. All the testing shows that you don't need to do all of that hoobla. Cut a hole in your steam deck. Put thermal pads in it. That's all you really need to do. Secondly, if you want to add more to that, you could have a dock with an, inter or with an intake fan. And if that's not enough for you, you got a little bit more glutton for it, throw some heat sinks. Take off that heat shield. Throw some heat sinks on there. Then you'll have the coolest running steam deck. You don't need to put thermal, you don't need to add more heat pipes. You don't need to attach a fan to your steam deck. You don't need to use a Peltier because I, I I still have the Peltier. I'm still working on the, the dock for it. The more and more I get into this fan, there's almost no point with that Peltier. We're just going to run a risk of potentially, potentially breaking our Steam Deck because that Peltier goes minus seven. It is fucking cold, but we are going to try to push it. I just wish we could overclock a Steam Deck. If we could, that'd be perfect. I could keep talking forever, y'all. Guys... Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. This is probably going to be another long one. So thank you for everyone that's stuck in there and watched the whole thing. And if you want to help out this channel, hit that like, hit that subscribe, share it with a friend, buy a t-shirt, www.diypoppy.net. They're all numbered zero to a hundred. After a hundred, you're never going to see this black and gold one again. My name is Nas, AKA DIY Poppy. I'll catch you all in the next one.